Hi guys, so I wanted to do a quick video on uh, designing your own DIY electric skateboard batteries. Right now I'm in the process of uh, making a 12S2P. Um, I usually go straight down, but today I decided to try a zigzag. Um, so you could see uh, I've labeled it to show you um, before you even uh, hot glue this. I already hot glued it obviously, but I just want to show you. Um, you know, go through your mind or draw some um, pictures or whatever you need to do um, to know exactly where you're going to go. So this, you know, I'm already imagining, um, I can already visualize before I build a battery and I'll set up the batteries and this is how I want to build it. So 12S2P just means 12 cells um, in series, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the minus and plus um, oops, up, here, up here, sorry. Up here, down here, up here. Uh, where you see the plus and minus, I'm going to go ahead and connect it. All right? Now where the 2P is, is 2 parallel. So I have uh, additional 6 that I'm going to go ahead and connect in a parallel. So this part will only uh, have, this part only will have uh, basically, uh, this, this part will only have connections from here to here, just parallel, all right? Uh, where, where the difference will be uh, over here, uh, where we connect it, and it's gonna look like a rectangle, all right? So imagine, imagine the pairs, it starts here, so the, the, you gotta really imagine where the electricity flow goes. So this is a pair of batteries, you see the minus to plus to minus to plus to minus to plus minus to plus to minus to plus to minus 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 plus. Now, each of these pairs are 3.6 volts. When you pair a battery together in parallel, you don't get any increase in voltage. You get increase in the total amps. All right, so. Uh, 3.6 every time you connect it you're getting 3.6 7.2 blah 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 and then all the way to uh, around 40 what is it 42 volt 42 um, sorry 42 volts out here so by the time you connect everything this becomes a very very powerful battery um, if you were touching this and touching it like this after you built it you will probably kill yourself that's that's a ton of um, uh, voltage amps sorry current that's gonna kill you so when you work with the batteries it's not connected right now so it, it doesn't really matter what I touch it's very safe because each of these is gonna only put out 3.6 volts all right um so so really imagine how you're gonna lay it down um, you can also lay it straight down you can have um, you can have it like this if you wanted to all right but I'm gonna build it like this right I feel like that's uh, for for my my boards, I don't want to get it too long because once it gets long, you got the flex problem and you have to deal with that. But this way, I keep the battery compact. Um, and this is a 12S2P with Samsung 30T, which will give you almost 300 watt hours, which is plenty enough to give you around 24 miles of range uh, for street wheels, something like I'm building right now. Now, if you're doing uh, ATR wheels, if you're doing any kind of pneumatic wheels, then you're going to need almost, you know, 30, 40, maybe double the power. That's when you're going to need like 12S3P, um, 12S4P. I feel like 12S3P is the sweet spot because it keeps the weight of your skateboard um, light while you're able to uh, really maximize power. Especially if you use the Samsung. Uh, I actually use Samsung 40T. This one I'm just building because... I have a bunch of extras, so I'm Samsung 30T, but I really like the Samsung 40T. These are not 18650 batteries. These are slightly bigger. Um, for those of you uh, want to build batteries, uh, of course, 18650 batteries are cheaper. Maybe 25% cheaper. And it, it's probably cheaper to build the same capacity with 18650 batteries. All right, but you don't get as much power. You don't get 15 amps of continuous max continuous discharge. Um, if you're building like a huge battery, more than 12S2P, maybe um, 12S3P, 12S4P and on, then it won't really matter whether you use this or this. But if you're using smaller battery packs, such as a 2P like this, 
uh, whether it's a 12S2P or 10S2P, you'll definitely want to go with larger cells because this is going to keep your board safe and give you a ton of power. Right? This basically gives you almost double the power output, maximum continuous power output, 15 amps versus 45 amps under 80 degrees Celsius. And most of the time, your battery never goes up to 85 degrees Celsius. And if it does go over, you still get 35 amps um, per cell versus only 15. These are been tested to do almost 20. Even then, you get double the power with just a little bit more volume, just a little bit more uh, weight. So in terms of building smaller, if you want to keep the um, your, your electric skateboard uh, weight down, obviously, you'll want to you know, use these batteries. I mean, these are just simply much better batteries. Um, 30Qs are really nice also. If you don't care about the weight, you don't mind having a much, you know, heavier and you want to save money, these are actually probably the way to go. And this is what um, um, a lot of people are still using. But a lot of electric uh, skateboard companies like Meepo, Ownboard, um, they're already going with these because they're making smaller boards. Um, their mini boards all use a 40T. Well, you have an option. And also their long boards too. Uh, the most important thing is this is a better battery tech. I'm going to give you smaller weight um, and more power, especially if you're building a smaller boards with smaller battery, 1P or 2P. You're going to get a ton more power, keep your you know uh, board much safer versus 10S 2P with 30Q. It's not bad, but that's only, it's going to get you around, but you're going to be right on around uh, 30 amps uh, with a 2P. Which should be plenty, but even then, you're going to get a lot more power with this. Uh, with the same setup, um, this is only going to give you 30 amps. This is going to give you 90 amps. Anyway, um, just going to show you uh, my battery again. Just make sure you mark down everything before you start spot welding. And um, there's just like a million different ways you can design your battery. But this one is going to go look, look, look like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the BMS on top. And then the fully, that way I could, you know, put it on my board. And I did a diagonal to save a little bit of height because before I would have it, um, uh, you know, I would have it straight. And I wanted to see how much um, space I save like this. Anyway, um, yeah, just one of the batteries I'm building. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.